Hi, this is Dan Stamnus with TEPCO, and today I'm going to talk about removing relationships in P6, but specifically removing them by the masses. First, let's just review some of the general methods you can use for deleting single relationships. You can always go to an activity, and you can go to either the Relationships tab, the Predecessors, or the Successor tabs, and you can click the Remove button. That's if you want to do one by one. You can also double-click on a relationship line out in the Gantt chart and you can hit the delete button when the edit relationships window comes up. You can also click on the relationship and it'll turn blue so just single click on it don't double click on it and you can hit delete on your keyboard and it'll ask you if you're sure you want to delete it. Now yes is already active there so I can just hit enter on my keyboard. What happens in a lot of cases is the relationship jumps back to the next one so you'll notice that the next relationship line there also turned blue. So I can just hit delete on my keyboard again and hit enter. You'll notice that it jumped again so I can just keep doing that over and over again until I get to the end. Now watch what happens if I got kind of crazy with doing that and I hit delete again. Now it's asking me if I want to delete a relationship that I don't even see on the screen. So you have to be careful with that because it may jump to an area where you may not want the relationships removed. So you do have to pay attention and watch when you're using this technique. Another option is to select an activity and over here on the right hand side you have predecessors and successors buttons. So I could remove the predecessor from this activity. Problem here is that I would have to actually go find the specific predecessor that's on it and once I find it the red X to remove the relationship will become active over here. You can also delete relationships in the activity network diagram. So I'm going to click this button right here. You can double click them or single click them and they turn blue and you can hit delete on your keyboard. So similar techniques can be used in that view. Now the question we get asked a lot is how do we get rid of all the relationships at once? A lot of other scheduling tools have unlink buttons where you can highlight a bunch of activities and just unlink them all at once. Oracle has not given us an unlink button yet, but what you can do is if you needed to delete all the relationships on a specific job, you could shift click to select all the activities within that job and you could come over to the predecessors button over on the right hand side and you could also click in here and if you actually shift click the entire job inside the predecessors window here which may take a few seconds to activate you'll notice that I have the red X here I could actually remove every relationship internally on that job now if there are links going to milestones or to management summary milestones towards the top of the file those would not necessarily be removed because I haven't highlighted them here yet but this is one option to kind of get you started and you could hit delete on that and it should remove most of your relationships for that entire job and there we go and like I said you may have something tied off to another area within the schedule that did not get removed and you can see on these activities right here that is the case I do have some other activities there that uh, where the predecessors were not removed and on the flip side of that you may have some successors that were not removed so you may have to go in and manually remove those and for the final question that we get asked how do I get rid of all of the relationships within my project file I'm going to show you how many relationships are in this project file by scheduling and looking at the log file and if we scroll down we can see relationships there are 6270 relationships in here there are 3824 activities in here and I mentioned we do get asked how do you remove the relationships from the entire project plan without having to go through one by one and hit the delete button on each relationship why would you do this sometimes um, you may run into a situation where you are a new scheduler in a company and you are taking over a schedule that someone else had built maybe they left the company because they want to go service slurpy machines or something you may open up their schedule and find out that the logic ties in it are one big mess of spaghetti and maybe you just don't want to take over from that point and you'd rather just go through it again and retie the logic based on your experience. The quick way to do that, which isn't all that quick, but it doesn't take very many keystrokes or mouse clicks. In other words, it's one of those things that you could trigger and then maybe go take a lunch break. First thing I like to do just to be clean about it is go to group and sort and take all my group and sort off. So now I just have a flat list here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all. Now you can use control A or you could scroll up to the top 
and you could shift click, so click the top activity and then shift click the last activity. Control A seems to be the fastest way to do it. Now I've selected every activity in this project file. Again, I'm going to go over here to the predecessors button. I'm going to open that up. And by the way, it seems to be a good idea to have your relationship lines turned off. For some reason, I feel like there's a lack of performance or it doesn't move as quickly if the relationship lines are on. Because actually when the relationships get removed, the screen has to redraw and so that the relationship lines are removed. So anything you can do to speed this up is a good idea. But when I do get the predecessors window open, I do like to go to the display dropdown and take the group and sort by and change that to a list. I've also noticed that without having the grouping on there by WBS and so forth that that can seem to speed things up as well. And with the predecessors window open you can hit control A on your keyboard again or you could click the top predecessor and shift click the last predecessor in the list just to get them all selected and this can take a little bit of time so for some reason depending on how large your file is it could take a few minutes actually for this to activate and select everything. Once everything is highlighted you hit the red X over on the right hand side to remove the relationships and once it finishes up the process this button will go gray. That will be your indication that it has completed. Another technique you can use to get rid of all of the relationships within a project, and keep in mind this is all relationships, so this wouldn't work if you only wanted to get rid of a subset of relationships, but you can always copy the project and then paste. You get the copy project options window first, so we'll go ahead and click OK on that one. Regarding the WBS, we're going to copy everything there as well, including the activities. We click OK. At the next window, Copy Activity Options, we can remove the option to copy the relationships. So that's going to copy the project, all the activities, and all the activity details without the relationships. But that will apply to the entire project, and all the relationships will be gone when you're done pasting. That completes this Tep Tip video. If you need any scheduling or cost control support, or implementation consulting or training, please contact us through www.tepco.us.